Protection issues in the last game. Are you looking for getting back out there and getting getting those guys together a little more and mm -hmm. get those still yeah, well, this week? You know, there there was a number of, of reasons. There was protection breakdowns. It wasn't all offensive mm -hmm. line. Um, you know, there's just things we have to clean up. And, uh, you know, that, that's what we're looking to do. You know, we want to clean those things up and, and execute a little bit better this week. And you know, that's what preseason's for, and that's what it's all about. Does that do those protection issues um, make you change anything that you do out there? No. Not at all. Yeah, just keep playing. You know, th things are going to happen. You're not not every play is going to be a good play. This is a this is a tough league to, to move the ball. So um, you just got to keep doing what we're doing, and uh, you know, it will be all right. This third game is a longer stretch for the ones. Do you think that being able to get into more of a rhythm uh, might help? What do you think that's going to offer you? Uh, definitely. You know, we had a chance to get in a rhythm last week. We okay. just didn't. You know, we didn't execute enough. Uh, execute well enough. I don't know. You know, we really want to get into some, some longer drives this week and, and move the ball and and just put on the game game tape what we do every day in practice. You know, we've been practicing well, I feel like, and uh, we just want to carry that over and uh, get ourselves ready, you know, for week one. Do you recognize Pryor out there in number two? <laughs> I did. I did a double take, though. His jersey was a little big for me. <laughs> Feel as good about uh, the offense and the whole, you know, the, the blocking scheme change and everything that you talked about earlier right now as you did at the beginning of camp? Oh, yeah, I still feel good. You know, it's one of those things you just got to keep hitting it. Um, you're going to get two and three yards here and there, and then eventually big plays are going to start hitting. So it's one of those things you just have to stick with the run and stick with the uh, scheme and just keep pushing forward. Tough loss with Jared, though. You know, you had to put that have in your left tackle there? Yeah, it's, it's very tough to um, replace a um, starting left tackle, you know, the guy like Jared. He's a great pass block, a great run block. You really hate that, but you know, um, it's football. Things happen. You know, the um, next guy has to step up in line. You have to just keep going. And um, the next guy step in and have to come in and try to do just as good as the job he does. They make it hard. For, you talked about you keep sticking with the run. Make it hard sort of judge in the preseason when you're only out there for ten full plays. Yeah, you know, it's preseason, so you know, the first couple plays you may not get as many yards as you want to. But like I say, big runs start coming later in the game, second, third, fourth quarter. What you want to see from the team coming into camp? And have you seen it? What were you looking for coming in here? I feel like um, I've seen a lot of great things out of our team. You know, um, offensive line has been doing a great job with this game. You know, they've been out there running, you know, getting run blocks and uh, trying to pass protect. You know, um, just seeing our defense out there flying around the way that they do. You know, I feel like a lot of good things. Um, we still have to build on some things, but you know, it's a lot of good things out there. You've gotten a chance to play in games with Terrell, but are you looking forward to sort of getting in games with that pistol and read off and stuff and what, what you guys can do together with that? But we got a little bit of it last year. San Diego game, but you know, not as much. I feel like we're going to run a lot more this year. So I'm sure he's going to do a great job. He's been doing a great job all camp, so I'm looking forward to it. They can open up a lot of things for running back. Is obviously right when, when, they, when they've oh, got to respect yeah. the quarterback running. Oh, yeah, having a guy like that back there running mm -hmm. the ball, you have to respect him. You can't just key on the running back. Mm -hmm. How comfortable are you running that? I'm very comfortable with it. Um, I ran it a couple years ago. I feel like I had a lot of success in it, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and running again this year. What is it? Uh, did the running game make the type of progress that you'd hope for over the course of three, four weeks? No, um, like I said, we've been doing a great job running the ball out here in camp, you know, just pushing for it. Like I said, we still have to get better at things, but for the most part, we've done a great job. How much have uh, the uh, injuries, especially up front, kind of slowed that process down? You know, um, you, losing a guy like Jerry is going to be hard, you know, and moving the offensive line in and out. But like you said, it's the NFL. Guys have to be ready to step up and come in and play right off the bat. Appreciate it. Darren, thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. 
did it just not get better? Did you make it worse by practicing with a with brace on, or did you? Uh, I don't. Did you I don't idea? think I necessarily made it made it any worse mm -hmm. practicing with the brace. You know, I think I think they were able to you know brace up good and kind of protect it that way. I don't think any further damage was done. I think whatever happened eventually was you know the thing that they you know, ended up seeing the second MRI. What, what have you heard uh, timeline wise? When you get back, what, what's your you goal? Or uh... Uh, you know, my goal is as, as soon as possible, obviously. But uh, you know, they got to you know check. Uh, you know, I got another follow up appointment uh, you know, next week, and you know, I'll try learning more as, as far as you know, dates and you know, time to treat for them. Yeah, I think it's you know one of those things that you, that, that you don't really ever you know, plan for see coming. You know, the, you know, the training I think you know protects all that for the most part. Yeah. Um, that was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not you know sure exactly what I could you know could do in the future to kind of prevent that stuff, but you know, I'll figure that out too. And, you know, kind of add that to you know the routine to make sure that. Staying healthy, keeping all that you know, soft tissue in good shape. For someone who's played just about every snap since you, since you got here to, to now be missing time, I mean, how difficult has that been to be? Yeah, it's strange, you know, because it's not something that I've ever uh, been through. You know, it's the first football related uh, procedure that I've ever you know, had done, and uh, you know, it's, it's disappointing, it's tough, but uh, you know, the only thing that I'm focused on right now, you know, I'm going to put all my attention to you know, getting after it and rehab and get back on the field. How the other tackles been talking to you about uh, what their dues are in your absence? Uh, you know, those guys are, you know, all stepping up, you know, ready, ready to take on the challenge and do their job. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's, there's any kind of, you know, nervousness going around or anything like that. I think, you know, we've got a very focused group, a group that works really hard. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, you know, great faith that they're going to step up and do a great job. you step in and give a lot of, a lot of advice and I'll do a lot of that, or do you kind of let them do their job. Uh, you know, it's, I've only been back up here for, for a couple days, so, you know, I'm kind of coming into, you know, a game plan week, it's, you know, I haven't really been, been around a whole lot to, you know, get into kind of that position, but, you know, I'd like to help, you know, any way I can, and, uh, you know, if I could be helpful that way, you know, I'd love to, you know, give some advice or, you know, kind of share what I'm seeing on tape, because, you know, I plan to, you know, kind of stay, stay in tune, you know, just as I would during game weeks, you know, keep my mind fresh, and, you know, you know, try to try to help that way with what I see. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. When, you know, when Jared went out, you know, it was kind of, you know, it was just another one down. Uh, you know, then it, then it was, you know, the pressure was on a little bit on me, you know, personally, just to get back and help out. You know, but we also need our to take our time and not rush anything. So, um, you know, we sat down, we evaluated the rehab process, and changed a few things. And, uh, you know, it helped out a lot. How far behind do you feel? Uh, not far. About a day or two. Uh -huh. Got to get used to hitting again. Obviously, you know, that's important. You know, at camp, you know, you, you know, get into that mode where you just hit and you, you know, your body gets adapted to it. So, you know, a couple hard days practice. Uh, but as, as far as the plays and the playbook, I'm, I'm right there. Are you working more on the left side or the right side? Are you doing both? Right um, I'm, I'm working both mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you know, I spoke with uh, Chris Brano and it's wherever he needs me. Mm -hmm. uh, we got, you know, with Jared out, obviously, uh, Mike, you know, Mike's a nurse in his knee, but um, we are, uh, you know, I just told Coach, you know, I'm ready, just wherever he's most time we have to go, you know, and, and I'm there, so that's how we are in the situation for me. You played on the right, but obviously more, are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. I, I, I got a couple snaps today at left, but um, I'm comfortable either way, you know, it's just kind of where I believe it's going away. Uh, you know, either way, you got to block somebody, so, you know, so, um, uh, I, I continue, you know, putting extra work, you know, on the left side, just in case. You expect that in the final preseason game, you get some extensive. Yeah, work. yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, we're gonna see, obviously, you know, me and coach, we're still gonna talk about it, but you know, I, 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 I yeah, I would like to get a couple, get, get a bunch of snaps and uh, get used to being back out there. How are you able to kind of keep your head up during, you know, really when you're out and you don't want to be, you know, just to kind of stay in it mentally, knowing you can get back um, and be better. Like you know, like I said, you know, when I was going through the draft process, it's a job now. You know what I mean? So this is my job. So for me to allow myself to slip into a part, place where you know I'm not focused on you know what's the what task behind every week. I try and stay in the uh, stay with the game plan. You know, I take notes as if I was playing. Um, go through the pre-game stuff. I, I, I go through that obviously when I'm there, and um, you know I take notes as if I, and I and I study the, the, the plays we're going up against. So it helps me keep in the mode. So in case you know. I always thought, you know, in case I was playing, I'd be ready to go. You had the, that a, a moment when you first re-injured it. 
where you look pretty upset and you went over and you sat down. And yeah, you know, yeah. How, how long did it take you to sort of like get back in the, all right, I'm a pro, I got to get Yeah. I got to get back. I mean, yeah, it was, it was a big blow because, you know, I was fighting to get back and, um, you know, when it happened, you know, it was kind of, just, it was just another big shot because I did feel, I did generally feel really good. And, um, you know, I just had to take a minute to cool off so I didn't, you know, yeah. and then doing something, harming something or something, you know. So I had to just get in my little corner real quick, you know, and just, just calm myself down. And then after a couple of minutes, went back inside, went back inside and got some treatment and spoke with the trainers again. And, you know, they gave me the same spill, you know, it's going to be, got to take my time and be sure next time when I go out there that, you know, I'm 100%. So, you know, like I said, you know, it was frustrating, but, you know, it, it happened and, you know, now, you know, it's in the past. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you man. Man. I think. If you're any player who, who redefines the game at your position, that is the definition of a Hall of Fame player. I mean, everyone knows your name, so but you I think it's great news. Kind of, I don't know, resent or uh, any way you want to say it. The uh, the idea of some people punters aren't aren't players. Punters shouldn't be in the Hall. Yeah, well, I, I think that's that, that's more an inherent problem with the selection process itself, yeah. in that it doesn't break it down based on you know offense, defense, and then special teams administrators mm -hmm. versus you know just having one catch-all category for everyone. Because the thing is, is that people, you know, specialists, we aren't on the field as much as other people. So there's not as much incentive to learn about what we do. You know, it takes a very, you know, kind of, you know, a specialist type of mind in order to, to want to know about punting and kicking. And so, you know, the average person really just doesn't doesn't see that. But, you know, we do go out there and we do affect games. And, you know, we, we have players who were the very best at their position. And that's the whole thing of a sport is that if you say a sport is a team game, well, you need to recognize every yeah. player on the team. And punters and kickers are part of the team as well. Plus the way that the, the way the process works, I mean, you know, Ray Guy is going to be up against like Emmett Smith, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, it, and it just makes it, the whole the way the process works makes it hard to select a specialist. Yeah, and, and that's that's one of the things that I've written about is is the idea that, you know, we we should be looking at, let's change the process yeah. to make it so that, okay, we, we don't lump everyone in together because, you know, we don't we don't compare quarterbacks to defensive ends. Like, yeah. <laughs> they do two completely different things. So yeah. why would you compare punters to receivers or to linebackers? I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. It, the, the NFL is such a specialized game these days that you know it's very very rare to see anyone playing more than one position you, don't, you hardly ever see that and so you know why why do we insist on comparing people yeah. against other people who aren't doing the same thing be extreme they put like right. broadcasters in they don't put them up against players <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i'm very happy about the news hopefully hopefully the selection committee will, uh, will put them in yeah, they usually, most of the time they get in yeah yeah, yeah. so thanks to two good. guys though right yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got a we got a lot of evaluation uh, in this camp. I think it was a good camp. I thought our guys came out here and worked, um, and I thought we got, you know, I thought we got better, and I thought we got a good evaluation of what we have uh, here in this camp right now. And uh, we're going to continue to do everything we can to try to improve this football team. So uh, it was good camp. We're ready to break and uh, uh, you know get back to Alameda and, and get back to the. Uh, you know, kind of a little bit more of a normal, everyday type of routine. You know, I thought there was days, obviously, where, you know, one side of the ball got the better of the other, and that's the way you want it. You know, you don't want it to be totally one-sided. And uh, uh, that's our goal. Our goal is to, to, to continue to go out and improve every day. And uh, it's a long season, and we got we got to just focus on one day at a time and, and uh, getting better every day. What did you guys see in Chances Thomas that made you want to bring well, I mean, obviously, with with JT having experience with him from Stanford, you know that was a that was an obvious plus. Uh, I think he's a uh, he's got some some power, some strength. Uh, does a pretty good job as an on the line line of scrimmage linebacker, setting edges and doing stuff like that. So, uh, you know, he was a guy that we felt like uh, could come in, learn the system uh, pretty quickly, and uh, and and really be thrown into the fire, you know, fairly quickly. Well, number one, I mean, I don't know that there's a better place to have training camp than, than right here in Napa. I mean, I think, you know, when you take all things into consideration, um, I think it's a great environment for our group. I think the thing you really benefit from is I think guys get a chance to get away from everything else, get away from all the other distractions, uh, and really come together as a football team. And, uh, uh, you know, from a mental aspect of, of being able to go through the grind, 
uh, of training camp and, and being right here together, I think that's positive. Draft, the rookie draft class overall, but like you see. Yeah, I've been pleased. I've been pleased. I think uh, really from top to bottom, I think we, uh, we we brought in some talented players. I think they've all made progress throughout this camp. It's the worst rookie show I've seen. Couple good skits. Okay, DJ's got a little talent. Uh, C.O. Moore's got a little bit of talent, but overall very disappointed. I'm glad we're not evaluating them on their, you know, rookie show ability. Last year, Rod Strader was a guy, undrafted guy, came in and made an impact, made the football team, made a lot of plays. you see anybody this year undrafted? Well, I, you know, I don't know that anybody's just really jumped out at me like Rod Streeter did last year. Um, you know, but but I do think that there's some guys that, that – uh, uh, have come in and, and, and done a nice job, and, and I've seen some improvement. And I see some guys that, uh, you know, obviously potentially down the road uh, could be good football players for us. So um, that's always, a, you know, that's always a process that you go through. And, and I think Reggie and his guys do a great job of evaluating those guys and trying to bring guys in, you know, from an undrafted standpoint that, uh, you know, have the potential to, to help this football team. How much of work did McLaurin and Wilson get this week? And has that order changed at all as far as the three and four? Nothing, nothing's changed with the order. Uh, they didn't get nearly as much work this week because we were a little bit more in a regular season mode. Uh, I would anticipate that they'll probably get a little bit more work next week. With the, with the, right, the fact that everything's kind of unsettled with, the, with all the, with the depth chart and everything going into this game, would you say that there's a compared to what you've experienced in the past, there's a lot more positions that are like not only up for grab, but a lot of players that could make or break whether they make this team in this next game. I don't think there's any question that there's uh, these next couple of weeks are make or break games for a lot of guys, uh, veterans and young players. You know, um, you know, we had, there, there's still there's still a lot of positions on this on this team that we haven't totally made up our mind exactly who those guys are going to be. And, and let's be honest, you know, these guys aren't just competing against the 90 guys that are in this camp. You know, they're competing against everybody that's on these rosters on the 31 other football teams in the National Football League. So, um, you know, I think this is a critical time for all these guys. More questions, guys? Uh, is, is Barnes an option at left tackle, or is he like him where he's at on the right side? Well, I think we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. We'll look at it. Uh, I feel comfortable with where he's at on the right side. So, um, you know, I, anything's possible, but uh, I don't really anticipate a change there. Any, uh, any setbacks with Murray or Kreiner? Uh, Kreiner, no setbacks. Uh, Latavius Murray had his uh, ankle scoped the other day, so we'll find out, uh, you know, where we go from here on him. Anything more, guys? Thank you. Thank you, Coach. All right. The autumn wind is a raider pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Raider Nation, let's go, let's go. Raider Nation, let's go, let's go. Raider Nation, are you ready for some football? Let's go, let's go. Raider Nation, let's go, let's go. Raider Nation, you ready for some football? You ain't ready for no football. You ain't ready for the Mopin Raiders. It's the invasion of the Mopin Raiders. Are you ready for some football? You ain't ready for this football. Ah! Here we come, baby. Just win, baby. Feel the storm of the cold autumn wind, baby. It's the Oakland Raiders. Get your mouthpiece. You in the black hole with the black beast. This ain't black gold. This is black silver. Commitment to excellence. We deliver. And we'll play past regulation. It's the invasion of the Raider Nation. Let's go. Let's go.